Hey everybody! So today I want to go over project six. So I'm going to go through your instructions and as you can see these are under self-portraits. When you go to modules, at the top of each module you have the like main informative page about that module that has all the information. Um, so we're going to talk about project six, which is your self-portrait. So your gridded self-portrait you're going to do on your big drawing paper, not the newsprint, but the big drawing paper. And I have really comprehensive directions here on how to do it, but I wanted to make a video where I just kind of go through this with you too. So the first thing you're going to do is create a one inch by one inch grid on a printed out image of you. So you're going to pick an image of yourself and you're going to print it out and it, it doesn't, I don't want it to be your full body. I want it to be from like shoulders or chest up. So we're really focusing on your face. Okay. So you're going to pick that photo, you're going to print it out and then you're going to draw a grid on it. That's one inch by one inch over the image of you. You do need to use a ruler for this. Now I mentioned that because in things like perspective, which we've been working on, some of you are not using rulers and you need to be using rulers there too. So definitely use a ruler. You're going to label the top of the grid alphabetically and the left and right you're going to label with numbers. So top and bottom letters, left and right margins, numbers. The next thing you're going to do is on your large drawing paper, not the newsprint, you're going to create a two inch by two inch grid with the same number of boxes as the grid on your image. You're going to label it the same way, it's just everything's in uh, an inch bigger per square. So we're enlarging this image. Looking at your image, rough in the contour lines of your image. So the outer lines, right, the, the edges, the contours, you're going to kind of sketch in, you're going to roughly sketch those in, um, and make sure that they correspond to the correct grid location. You're then going to select a square on your image grid toward the middle of your face. Okay, so somewhere around your nose maybe. Um, you're going to isolate that square using your isolation shield. So you're going to take, um, oh, sorry, I skipped this direction. You're going to use two pieces of blank paper um, and you're going to create isolation shields. So in the middle of the first one, you're going to cut a one inch by one inch square. And in the middle of the second one, you're going to have a two inch by two inch square. Okay, so you're going to have two pieces of paper, each with a square in the middle. All right, so fast forward back to where I was, you're going to select a square in your image grid on the image you printed out and made a grid on with the one inch by one inch square. You're going to put your isolation page that has your one inch by one inch square on that image so you can only see one inch, one of the squares on there. Okay, so you're going to isolate that square. Then you're going to isolate the corresponding square on your drawing paper with your second isolation uh, paper that you made and you're just going to draw what you see in the square. That way you're not trying to draw the whole image, you're just focusing one square at a time. And this helps with something I talked about in the beginning of the semester, which is draw what you see, not what you know. You think you know what you look like, so you just start drawing it in without actually using observation and paying attention to what it actually looks like. So you're going to then select a different square, one that doesn't touch the first square you worked on. So you're going to go to a different part of the face and pick a different square and then you're going to repeat the process. And you're going to keep doing this. These are examples of in-process shots from, from former students of mine. You're going to continue in this manner doing a square here, 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 until you have drawn in all of the squares from your image. You're going to um, assess the value scale and the unity of the overall composition and you're going to adjust a, a little bit and smooth some areas out that may need smoothing out because you drew it one square at a time. Then you're going to erase the grid lines on your paper and then you'll have your finished image. So here we see this is a former student from a couple years ago. You can see her in progress piece here. She's doing her random squares all over. She gets to the end and this is what she has. Um, this is another student example from a couple of years ago finished. So these are all examples of completed projects done in this method. No problem, right? Easy to do if you take it one square at a time. So if that was too fast, you can watch this again and you can also just go back to the module and look back through these uh, directions where I tell you exactly how to do it. All right, good luck on project six.